Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle and I hope that you're having a thoughtful day today. Today we will be looking at Matthew chapter 6 verses 7 through 15. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Today, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 7 through 15, we hear Jesus speaking to his disciples and instructing them in prayer. He lays out and teaches them what we today call the Lord's Prayer or the Our Father Prayer. Like verses are also found in the Gospel of Luke, in chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. This prayer with its sets of phrases, is very important to us and the Christian faith. For what is recorded is God in the man of Jesus instructing us on how to pray to God, the Father Creator. You are no doubt very familiar with its comforting refrains, Hallowed be thy name, thy will be done, give us our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. It is no doubt the most widely known and widely recited prayer in all of Christendom over 2,000 years. We use it at all sorts of life's ceremonies and sacraments, baptisms, marriages, funerals, It is also a standard part of many Christian services, especially those with a strong liturgical tradition. We turn to it in times of great joy and great sorrow in our lives, when we want to express thankfulness as well as when we despair and are in darkness. It can be said with softness, reverence, and gentleness, And it can be said with energy and exclamation and confidence. We turn to it when we have fallen short, when we have sinned, and are coming to God in supplication. Thanks be to God for this beautiful Lord's Prayer. It sustains us and lifts us to our Father who art in heaven. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and remember our word of the day is our Father who art in heaven. Until next time, be well and be blessed.